Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Jira automation tutorial, we are going to learn how to export and import the existing rules within Jira Cloud. So there will be a situation, say for example, you have created a particular rule in a project and you want to export it and use it into the other project. That's absolutely simple and possible. The only prerequisite for that is you need to be a global administrator for that. Okay. So the first thing is we need to go to the project where we created our first rule. So we'll go to the projects and this is the project where we created our first rule classic scrum and then we'll go to the project settings. Okay. So I'll expand this section here and go to the project settings. Once you are in the project settings, we need to go to the same section automation, click on automation and you will see that at the moment, all the rules that are there in this particular project are available here. So I can export a particular rule. Say for example, I want to only export this particular rule and import it in some other project. So let's understand that first. Okay. So what you need to do is simply in the right hand side of each of the rules that you have okay if you hover over you will see these three ellipses okay click on that and click on export okay so click on export and it will export a json file and this is the json file if i'll open the folder where it has exported you will see this is the json file that has been exported this is the latest one 351 okay so if i simply go to the project where i want to import this right so I'll go to the project. Say, for example, I want to import the rule into sample scrum project A. I'll simply click on that. OK, and then I'll scroll down to the project settings of this particular project and to the automation section. So I've clicked on the automation section of this particular project, right? So this automation and here you will see that we have this global administration, right? So you need to be a global administrator in order to import the rule. OK, so click on the global administration and you will be redirected to the global administration section okay so which is jira administrator or jira cloud administrator okay so once you will go to the global administration section you will see all the rules that are there and which projects they are associated with okay so we have exported a rule which was this particular rule which is from the rcv classic scrum project okay now enabled and disabled doesn't make a difference in order to export and import because this is more of just whether the rule is enabled or disabled in a particular project so now if i have to import the rule that we have exported what i have to do is simply click on these three ellipses here okay and then you will see import rules option is available here so you can export rule from the project okay a particular rule or you can export rules from the global administration area as well okay so you can see that we have the export rules here as well and import rules but for import rules definitely you have to go to the global administration so if i click on the import rules it will open the window here for importing the json file that we have exported right so i'll upload the json file and go to the download section where the file has been export it click on the json file and open and you will see that the rule that we have exported is available here okay so now we have to select which rules to import okay so this is the rule that we have exported i'll select the rule that this is the project that uh, this is the rule that i have to import okay and then here i have to choose which project for which project i am going to import this particular rule okay so this rule is already there in the project because this is the project classic scrum project from where i exported this rule okay so i'll disable that or remove it okay and then i'll simply say sample scrum project a okay now what will happen in this particular case is that this rule won't be available so let's see let's do it and i'll explain further okay before doing any of the changes there okay so let me move my screen here okay so i have selected the restrictive projects only to the project where i want to import this particular rule click on next okay and confirm and you will see that the rule has been imported successfully in the sample scrum project a as well okay so here if you see that because the rule was disabled when i exported it 
it's also disabled when I imported this particular project, uh, this particular rule in the sample scrum project A. Okay. And the rule is still available in sample scrum RCV classic scrum project as well. Okay. So if I go to the project here, RCV classic scrum, scroll down to the project settings, scroll down to the automation section and the project rules are still there. Okay. So basically when we go to the global administration, okay, and import the rule, whichever project will be choosing choosing the rule to be applicable only that particular project will be available now let's go to the global administration and export all of these rules and import in a separate project so i'll go to the global administration and you will see that in the automation section i'm in the global automation section here okay and i can simply click on the ellipses here and export rules and the export will happen right so there's the file the latest one that has been exported okay 357 a and this is this will contain all the rules that are there in this particular section here okay so all of these rules four rules are being exported so now if i want to import it okay so same same area global automation click on the ellipses import rules and upload the json file so i'll open this particular json file and select the rule so now you will see that these rules from whichever project they are coming from okay i can choose them right and then I can choose which projects I want to apply these rules to. Okay. So here, say for example, I want to add it to the Kanban, right? Or next gen scrum. So say for example, I don't remove the selection that was there. Let's see what will happen. Okay. Classic. So I've selected whichever projects I want to apply these rules to. Click on next and confirm so you will see that the rules that are being imported okay if there are multiple projects it will show that the rules have been imported for multiple projects okay so you'll see if i go to this particular copy of subtask with comments rule you will see the projects wherever this particular rule is applicable okay so now if you go to a particular project right so say for example i want to see all the rules that are applicable for my particular project so let's go to the project classic scrum and see how many copies or how many rules are applicable there okay so in the project settings scroll up to the automation section and here if you go to the project rules right you will see all the rules that are applicable for this particular project so you have to make sure whenever you are applying these rules make sure that if you have exported a particular rule from this particular project do not try to duplicate and apply it again okay because that's just a redundant rule being applied and then that's a not a good approach okay so make sure that your rule library is clean and as clear as possible because there might be possibility when you are creating a rule there are multiple rules which are doing sort of similar thing and it might be a nightmare or it might be a very tedious process to basically clean up and clear up all the details so for example subtask creation i have subtask with command and subtask creation so this if i enable both of these then it will be kind of a duplicate duplicate task from this one and duplicate task from or multiple tasks from this rule as well okay so if you want to troubleshoot the best way is basically disabling all the rules and then try to enable one by one okay but make sure create a rule only when you are absolutely sure what you're looking for and minimize the number of rules for a particular project so that it is easy to manage the rules within the project okay so that's all for this tutorial on how to export and import rules within jira i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching